Hi, I'm Dala, and today we're fitting this 30 kilowatt hour pack into the EVM exporter car. Uh, let's just get started. Uh, we're going to be splitting this one up into three different sections, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can shoehorn it into this small thing. Uh, so I'm just going to go cracking now and uh, remove this top cover on the battery. So yeah, let's do that. So the first step is to remove the service disconnect switch. I have already done that, or this battery did not come with one. Uh, I then removed uh, all the 10 millimeter bolts that was around here. And there are some also along the edge of the battery. And yeah, I've removed all those. So now I can start to actually uh, remove the top cover. And it is actually glued in place. So I cheated and started a bit here, but I just took a carpet knife and I ran it, jammed it in here and ran it all along the edge. And this takes quite some time to do, but as far as I know it's the best way to do it. Uh, you don't have to be careful when you do this, because there is a inner lip, raised lip section here, so you can't like push the knife too deep into the battery. But yeah, if, if you have some better way uh, of doing this then please leave a comment down below because I open quite a few of these every now and then but yeah that's always my goal to to just use a carpet knife but yeah now we can remove the top cover So that took way more effort than usual. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually outside now. I'm um, gonna let this vent for a bit because after you just open a pack, uh, they will smell a bit. So I have all doors open now and I'm actually gonna leave this for a day or two to just let it air out all the yeah bad chemicals. Uh, it's not life-threatening but if you start to work on a pack directly after you've opened it, you can um, get headaches or stuff like that and I'm very migraine prone so I'm gonna be avoiding this altogether. So yeah, uh, see you in a few days. Okay, so a few days has passed and uh, let's do a quick smell test. Uh, yeah, smells okay. It doesn't sting that much anymore so yeah. Yeah, it gets the approval from me. Now we can start to actually work on it. Uh, now it's time to bust out the high voltage gloves because uh, there's quite the amount of voltage here at the moment. So we're gonna be starting with getting rid of the high voltage first. So that means to isolate all these three sections. There's the uh, rear stack and there are the front left hand and right hand stacks. So, yeah, there are some bus bars running along here, uh, like for instance this one that joins these two together. So, that's what I'm going to start with, to remove all these. Okay, so uh, high voltage gloves are on and we can start. Okay, so now I've removed uh, two of the bus bars and uh, the rest inside the battery is disconnected. So uh, it's just these big orange cables that went everywhere. So now the three like main sides are isolated 
And we don't have to wear the high voltage gloves anymore. So yay, now we can continue dismantling this. Okay, so we got uh, most of the connections out, so now we're gonna start by lifting out the rear stack. And uh, while examining this one, uh, it's, it's, this is a 30 kilowatt hour pack from a 2016. And uh, there's always the risk of it having these overheated modules here. Uh, you can see the reflection of this sheet metal, it's a little bit creased, but there's no, no like significant bulging going on so yeah i'm quite happy with this pack i think it will work very well in the evnx but yeah now we will lift this out or try to <laughs> And it is out. Uh, so now we will continue with uh, disassembling the rest and yeah then we can scrap this box and instead have a bit more manageable pieces. Yeah. <music> got it out. Uh, now we have the rear stack and the other stacks fully exposed. So yeah, now we can start to think about mounting these in the car. Uh, I already took some measurements and uh, the length from uh, side to side on the rear stack is uh, 90 centimeter with the BMS attached. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check out the, the car instead, how it will look there. So. Yeah, let's clean that up. Okay, so uh, welcome to the rear hatch. Uh, this place is a mess, so <laughs> we're gonna start by clearing some garbage out of here. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we're cleaning out the back seat. Uh, we lost some footage there, but uh, yeah, it's getting spacier and spacier in here all the time. So we also noticed that the gas tank is still present. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to be dropping that ASAP. So yeah, maybe we'll actually continue with that. Let's see. Okay, so we went a bit overboard and uh, we deleted the like seat belts and rear speakers and uh, yeah, so now we have removed quite the amount of weight and here you can also see that the vehicle was originally supposed to be red but uh, a few years ago I did some rust proofing so yeah, it has, yeah, it has held up fairly okay but uh, now we will raise the vehicle up and remove the fuel tank Okay, so a uh, quick status update. We are working underneath the car and we have almost freed the fuel tank. Uh, <laughs> there's been some rusty bolts and uh, <laughs> the tank also still has some ethanol in it. So yeah, that's fun. But as soon as this thing is out, we can 
get the vehicle back on the ground and start actually planning the battery box but yeah we will continue struggling with this and we got it out Whew. now we can actually start with mounting the battery but yeah took a lot of effort to get to this stage Whew. so yeah i've had quite enough of crawling underneath this very old and rusty car but yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will be doing some fabrication instead. Yeah, looking forward to that. So, see you in the next one. Bye.